Real Transaction in FUE Hidden Transaction in Donor Site by Dr. Dae Young Kim The object is to know what happened during FUE harvesting in the donor site. It is generally accepted that we estimate the transaction rate based on only extracted follicles. Is this really the most accurate way? For a truly accurate TR definition, we must account for the hidden transaction rate. Two to four study boxes were drawn on the donor strip sites of 12 FUT patients. The study box was one centimeter by one centimeter and its horizontal width was divided at an interval of 0.25 centimeters marked by three vertical lines A, B, and C. A total of eight FUE punches, four each along lines A and C, were made. We used a motorized and oscillating FUE device with a one millimeter sharp cannula punch. Here we can see the four FUE study boxes marked on the FUT donor strip. Here are the 32 follicles obtained from the four study boxes. A 20 power digital video microscope was used to analyze the transection of the harvested follicles from each study box. The red arrows indicate the four study boxes on the donor strip. Each study box was slivered along the FUE punch line under the 20 power microscope. The scalp tissue of the study box was slivered along the FUE punch line under a 20 power microscope. The holes, which are arranged vertically in line, are FUE punch sites. Having both a skilled technician and a 20 power microscope reduced the transections during slivering. This picture shows the sections of slivers along the punch sites. Four punch sites are observed with ease on each section. Two slivers along the FUE sites were analyzed under a 20 power digital video microscope. The blue dye indicates the extraction sites. We examined the transections in the donor site after using the FUE punch and observed partial and total transections around the punch sites. When we look under the surface, we find various hidden transection sites. Here, one transection site is hidden under the scalp surface, keeping the shaft alignment. We name this hidden transection. Here, we see a hidden transection caused by punch number two. We see a hidden transection A partial transection has the transected lower part of the hair left in the sliver and its upper part can be seen in the extracted follicle. The transection in the red circle was a slivering injury made by a technician. We can assume this because it was not near punch sites 2 or 3. To differentiate the slivering injury by technicians from hidden transection, the whole process of slivering was videotaped and reviewed. There were a total of 12 patients. Harvesting was performed by an FUE expert for 6 patients and by an FUE beginner for the remaining 6. While they harvested similar levels of total TR, there was variation in the level of harvested hidden TR, 3.6% for experts and 10% for beginners. More hidden TR was noted when done by a beginner. 
88% of transactions by a punch were from the upper side. The depths of hidden transaction ranged from 1.7 to 4 millimeters. Average depth was 2.9 millimeters. On the basis of the results, we tried to find out the causes of hidden transaction. The first possible cause is that hidden transaction is made by excessive pressure on the skin during punch insertion. This is due to unskilled technique, use of a dull punch, or the hard skin of the patient. Secondly, of hidden transection can be caused by extraction with extremely deep insertion of a punch. This can often occur among Asians with long follicles. To prevent hidden transections, it is necessary to use a tumescent solution to give full expansion of the donor site and reduce fluid dynamics of the scalp skin. It is desirable to use a sharp punch rather than a dull one to decrease pressure on the skin. It is also desirable not to insert an FUE punch too deeply. These methods were first suggested by Cole. Here is the correct way to calculate real transaction rate. This study has three limitations. It is a small scale study with 12 participants and a high transaction rate. Further research is needed to determine how hidden transaction affects hair regrowth. Thank you.